We're here at China Institute for a very special exhibition called Mao's Golden Mangoes, which offers a rare glimpse of Chinese history through a seemingly ordinary variety of fruit. Today, mangoes are a popular fruit enjoyed the world over, but before 1968, no one in China had ever seen one. In that year, the visiting Pakistani Minister of Foreign Affairs presented Mao Zedong with a gift basket of mangoes, which Mao in turn gave to the workers. Following this action, a veritable mango fever swept the populace as the mango became a symbol of Mao and his benevolence. The mango was an emblem of Mao's love of the people. Everyone of a certain age had a story about mangoes, about Mao giving mangoes to workers. Mango is really just a fruit. However, under the craziness of politics, everything could turn into a symbol that's become a symbol to show Mao's love of his people. Students of history may not find evidence of this obscure short story in their textbooks, but the average flea market in China will still carry these short-lived relics. In this exhibition, visitors will find 80 products of Mao's mango fever, including textiles, posters, trays, badges, mugs, and even wax models of mangoes displayed in clear cases, and more, which were borrowed from the collection of the museum Reitberg Zurich, as well as from private collections. These are all low-end items, that is, things that workers could acquire or things that were issued by their work units. It's a very obscure detail in the Cultural Revolution. Even Cultural Revolution specialists overlooked this, but there's good reasons for that. It's the intellectuals who tell the history, and this was for workers. And not only that, it was promoting workers to the very peak of society. Most people are familiar with the events in China beginning in 1966, in which Mao Zedong exerted his influence as a social icon and urged students, then workers, to take control of society in the Cultural Revolution. Few people, however, are familiar with how the mango became an adoring symbol of Mao. Although short-lived, fading out after just one year, this exhibition on mango fever offers a unique lens on propaganda in the Cultural Revolution, as well as some insight on how cultural and political symbols are created and sustained. It's an opportunity to examine the system of propaganda during the Cultural Revolution, but it's also a very interesting uh, study of how symbols are created and how they're sustained. They have to have institutional support or religious support or be inherently a part of a culture to survive. And the mango, after the Cultural Revolution, it didn't have any of those things. The enshrinement of mangoes as a concept of Mao's thoughtfulness to the people is an extraordinary topic and I think this exhibition encapsulates the power of that kind of propaganda in a beautiful way. The last exhibition to be held on 65th Street before China Institute relocates downtown, Mao's Golden Mangoes will be on view through April 26, 2015. For more videos that shed light on little known facts of China, check out our website at SinovisionEnglish.net. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I'm Lonnie Nelson.